back-to-back -back episodes of new characters coming in to spice up the show. First, it was Karma, and I love him. He just brought so much edge to the show and just showed us that Koro-sensei can indeed be injured. As long as we, like, make him tilted, you know, we use his, uh... Like, he gets very flustered if he makes a mistake, then all those, like, superhuman alien-like, you know, instincts are gone. And then the next episode was... Bitch Sensei. The pronunciation, the, the shortened form of this show is called Ass Class, but I'm starting to think that it might be, it should be like Tits Class. Oh my gosh, she basically just weaponizes her look, she seduces, and even though it was Bitch Sensei's episode, it feels like Karasuma was kind of goaded, because he's just calmly assessing, just chilling and letting her know that like, yeah, you fucked up, this is on you, in like a very calm, professional way. And to see more characterization of our defense minister, who is now our PE teacher in action, we'd like to see even more of him. What are we going to do next? Are we going to continue calling him a Bitch Sensei until this show ends? Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> We're doing sign slap shit? Mach 20. Maybe. That's that is true. He's like an alien octopus thing. Well, actually, he's not an alien. He just looks like one. If I don't know what my stereotypical image of alien is, but no, he is born and grown here. Lab baby thing. I love how some students have just given up and they're like, it's not worth it. While this guy, Connie, is like, come on, now's the time, now's the time. Other kids are like, come on, man, you know you're not gonna get him like that, it's too easy. <laughs> Too easy for him. Like, like, there is nothing you can do to, like, kill him. Just straightforward. It is literally a waste of time to approach him just straightforward. You need to have a plan, some level of, like, traps to make him, like, be flustered emotionally. <laughs> yeah, sneak attacks aren't good enough, to be honest. Bitch reminds me of Nina from Code Geass. And now I, I haven't finished that show yet, but like something about her pisses me off right now. Okay. Sensei just loves snacks. Yeah, his sensei's broke right now. He needs his snacks. Come on. Karma stole all of his gelato before, since they need the snacks. Who knows? Uh-oh. She got a plan. She hiding. Okuda. <laughs> Your approach is just please drink this? Okay, even if he did, I bet he is just gonna detox it. Okay, the honest, straightforward approach, why not? Very good at chemistry. Okay. Uh, he would drink it. He would. But it's not gonna do anything to him. No, 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 we're getting baited and something else is happening here. Is that supposed to be a Sonic joke? His hair, the color, I don't know about the horn. Is this supposed to be Sonic? Okay. Yeah, try them too. <laughs> Only his face changes too, not his. This is fun actually. Sensei's just taking so many different forms. But like the rest of his body doesn't change, only his face. I don't know. Nothing this time, it's just great. Okay. He just changed personalities too. See. What she should have done is ground up the pellets, right? She should have ground up the special bullets and basically placed it in those vials so that he would drink it 
right? Regular fucking chemistry shit is not gonna kill him. But the, the, we do have a specific object, and if we ground that into fine powder and mixed it up and made him drink the solution, like, wouldn't that do internal damage? Wow! This teacher is going out of his way. He spent his own free time to give her private lessons on creating poisons that can actually kill him. Truly a sensei that goes beyond for a student. That's right, it's their like knife badminton game. Bitch sensei. Yeah, take it off then. Beast. <laughs> Yeah, if you're feeling hot, why are you getting close to me? True. Kasuma ain't down for any of this thoughtery. Yeah, what's she trying to do with him? Yeah, you might get fired soon. You can't afford it here. It's supposed to be the shitty shacks. No air conditioners allowed. It's actually also crazy that there's like no air conditioning allowed. There's also no proper ventilation in this room. And they're just, I mean, the windows are probably open, but doing chemistry in like a non ventilated area is kind of. That's, you're just asking for something to go wrong. Also, talking about fume hoods and shit. Next time you go to a Korean barbecue restaurant, or any type of like place where there's like a fume hood, you'll notice that they just exist as decoration. There's like these regulations and shit for like in initially when you're trying to open shit, but like these cheap motherfuckers, right? <laughs> like I know my own kind. These cheap motherfuckers, they don't use the fume hoods. It's just decorations to pass the regulation. They, they don't. I'm like, what the fuck is this supposed to be? Because it costs too much to fucking operate it afterwards. <laughs> She has problems communicating. Mm. True. That's a little robotic, though. Kind of defeats the purpose of being a human. So this is like a girl who's super shy and introverted, has a tough time just like making friends. But through logic equations and math, you know, it makes sense. Sensei will now turn her into a gal? What? What is this note gonna say? Is she gonna make her more sociable? Chewy this. Theoretically worked the best, alright. Now, if we walk up to Koro Sensei and ask him, can you drink this? Will he drink it? He won't, right? Wait, what is that, the other one? Come on, show up. No. Don't add sugar past midnight. What is this shit? Some gremlin shit? You know those little fucking furball monsters? Like, don't feed it past midnight or they're gonna turn into like little gremlins? Yeah, look how uplifted she looks. <laughs> really, it's that simple. <laughs> I mean, it says theoretically it's the closest to killing them, but doesn't mean it's really gonna kill him, but wow, it's that simple. <laughs> you sure we made poison? New state of being. Sensei is about to transcend his like limitations and go beyond. New form. That's it. Okay. Sus-sensei. <laughs> Yeah, basically the concoction was like a super enhancing poison, not like an actual theoretical poison. Like, you can't just ask me to help you and expect me to be honest when you're trying to kill me. I don't know. Mm. 
it's so funny that like we have such a sentimental piano track playing to like you know it, it plays when sensei is like helping these kids like understand and better themselves but like what he just said in order to deceive somebody you need to understand them and tailor your words accordingly to manipulate them come on now that's right if you want to truly manipulate people and treat them like tools like my goat ion akoji i'm so him in classroom of the elite you gotta be able to talk well that's the interesting thing too though because like ayano koji it's not like a very good communicator yet in like the first season right when he has like no social riz yet he was still able to just like puppeteer which is pretty impressive now that i really think about it <笑>みんなやっぱり暗殺以前のこの先生の力の前では猛毒を持った生徒しまうまだまだ出そうにないやあなたたちが今日は来るのかなあなたたちが今日は来るのかなあなたたちが今日は来るのかなあなたたちが
Again, it's like we're literally third class citizens here, not even second. <laughs> are these the only two fucking villains there are in this show? These two again, bro? They, they're fucking everywhere. <laughs> Imagine they end up being kicked off to the end class. And it's a whole character arc of them having like a redemption arc. I doubt it. It's humiliating, man. They're all pointing at us like we're the fucking zoo. Yeah, you're the cream of the crop. This nation's chosen elite, except you guys over there. You guys are trash. Everybody, please look at them, point at them, and laugh. Please, everybody. <laughs> At some point in a man's life, and one day, you know, it may come for me too, right? Like, like this hairline, it's not forever. Like, I got, I got a pretty good hairline here. I, 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 got, I got a pretty good one. But it's not forever. It's going to come for me one day. Hopefully, I'm on Propatia or something before that. But, like, when it gets to that point, you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth it? If this, it's, if there's nothing. Like, when someone is confidently bald... Like, you can respect that, you know? They chose that. But people that cling on to this battle that they cannot win, and I see them in public, a part of me just, like, dies inside for them. It's just like, brother, you know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. You gotta fucking shave it off yourself. You gotta do this. You, you can't stop fucking doing this, man. Thank you, Gold Fashion with the Prime. You're gonna look like them! <laughs> I love how, like, intentionally, everyone's faces are just so fucking disgusting, right? Clearly, the author is trying to make all the other students just, like, look stereotypically nasty to portray their personalities. <laughs> like this one, man. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Is this a teacher, bro? Is this teacher shitting on us too right now? Principal. The real world. Principal kind of spitting facts though, right? It's unfortunate, but people develop the most when they have someone to look down upon. And like, not to get too fucking deep right now for like the society that we live in, but like, do you know why it's in the like the super upper classes like best interest to keep like the homeless and poverty like existing? Because they exist to keep the middle class that's just paycheck to paycheck. Like, that's what's gonna happen to you. Like, if you don't figure it out, you're going to turn like them. So you better fucking figure it out. Like, humanity, us, these social creatures, we're such beings of vanity and sins, bro. It's just like, you, it's just like, if you have someone to look down upon, right? It's just, he's right. But it's such a fucked up way. It's so optimized that way to sacrifice this, like, one group to better the others. But is that really the society that you want to live in? Results are results, but at the end of the day, you gotta take a step back and understand, like, is this truly the society that you want to live in? Assassination alike? What do you mean, assassination alike? Okay, hold up. He's a very logical person, but assassination man? Logical monster. A logical monster who is a robot. Because any sane, reasonable person can realize how cruel this is. And that this logic, while it may produce results, like, it's at the cost of something. I don't know, it just feels like there's like a better comp uh, a compromise we can meet in. We get to see his face a little bit more here, though. Does he have long hair? I don't know, last time he was facing the other way. He just has a really cool voice actor. Karasuma, let's go! Yeah, he's so cool, right? Even she's blushing right now. But as soon as he says that he represents 3E, I bet everyone's gonna turn on him. Oh my god, he's so hot! Huh? 
Okay, why now? Why now? <laughs> yeah, it is, a, it is a big secret. And that's interesting. Like, we got to keep this a super secret, but it kind of is like a leverage that we have, right? I don't know if you want to use this card, but it is... They don't want the masses to know about the secret that's happening. We know the secret. Can't we just like kind of like... What would happen if we flexed on them? If they figured out the assassination? If we could use it as like a threat to like treat us better? <laughs> Okay, lady, you are the last person to be complaining about looks. Listen, you are not a 10 out of 10 yourself. It's, it's just, man, poor Connie behind. Poor Connie right in the middle. He knows his ass is getting fucking cooked right now. In her mind, she's thinking about him when she's saying that. <laughs> this guy. Okay, but it's so... It just looks like the author is trying to intensely make us ugly character, you know? Like, come on. Come on, man. Oh, that's right. We got Bit Sensei. True, our teachers are hot as fuck, bro. We got Karasuma and Bit Sensei. Now, 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 the guys should say the exact same thing. Like, it's, it should be a little reversal of this moment where the guys are like, damn, yo, all the, like, like, all the girls in their teach our classes are so fucking butt ugly. <laughs> Bit Sensei. <laughs> Who is that hot ass white chick? <laughs> White woman, milk lady. <laughs> Tactical late arrival. Mm -hmm. A little bit. <laughs> I wanted to check out the other students. Sounds really fucking weird, but yeah, they look. Listen, what does that mean? You actually wanted to check out in terms of look and but potential mates? Like, what are, you, what are you talking about? Hardly worth the trip. You really wanted to see, like, hot kids here? Fan service scene incoming to make the other kids jealous of our class even more beyond Karasuma sensei. That's one, huh, bitch? <laughs> well, it, it, you know, rather than us getting discriminated against, right, and them looking down on us, now they're kind of jealous, right? That, that's a good feeling. <gasps> it's oh. It's very fun in the end class. <laughs> Do you think it's possible that, like, the whole school system structure will fail as they realize that the end class is just really fun and the teachers are hot and they all want to go to the end class and everyone just starts dropping out? There's no way. I'm just trying to think of ways that, like, this principle's, like, logic works against his favor. I don't know. Uh, you don't get one. You're not important. Sorry. No, don't say it out loud, bro. They're gonna humiliate us. No. Oh, no. Oh, come on, bro. If you're just gonna just be honest with it, you don't have to fucking lie and be all the condescending, man. Just tell it how it is. Koro-sensei is here. Disguise? <laughs> it's his disguise that he uses when he goes to the fucking corner store. Like, it, really? Is this good enough? Yep, yeah, definitely human, by the way. <laughs> Mach 20. <laughs> Bro, come on. You're supposed to be like the fucking announcer. How are you gonna say who killed our fun out loud? The, everyone already knows it's bullshit, but you fucking lied? And then now you're gonna admit that you lied. You look even dumber. <laughs> Be consistent, bro. Yeah, long limbs of hand just moving like this while your face looks like that is the perfect fucking disguise. Come on, man. Definitely a human. Definitely not octopus. <laughs> Karasuma said, don't show the fucking dagger like covers. 
and got mad. She literally has a dagger out trying to kill him right now in public right now, bro. What? <laughs> there's Karasuna, there's Karasuna. What's going on? Mmm, <laughs> see? This is good. Right? Everyone else is like questioning and interested. What's going on over there, bro? What's going on with the E Club? They're having so much fun. Who's two again? What do you mean, bro? Man, don't you have anything better to do than just like look at us? We live rent free in your heads. If you're such elite people, why are you caring about the us insects, man? Clearly, you're jealous. Oh. Mmm, is getting cocky right now. Four nuggets? I don't know. Nuggets I should use is like assassin. Okay, I really want us to use our assassination techniques on these students. Obviously not kill them, but like take them out and just like make them just feel the fear. <laughs> His nose fell off. Brother, come on. Come on. This is your peak disguise. <laughs> Mm, the soundtrack, bro. Oh. What do you know about killing? True. Damn, bro. That aura. That conquer is hockey from Nagisa. Eyes of a killer. Assassination hockey, bro. They knew. They knew that he's different. That was sick. Igumi. Principal. Okay. Here's his actual face, bro. This grown ass man has personal beef with these children. The E class is popping off too much. But, like, I thought that he might play fair enough where it's like, you know what? If the E class are proving that they can turn themselves around, then, like, isn't it great for our school? Because at the end of the day, he doesn't really care about what's fair. It's more like, we need to keep a group of people segregated and discriminated against so for my system to work properly. Like, the E-class is not designed for you to, like, earn yourself out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, his personal beef with these junior high kids is more important than, like, the inevitable destruction of this world. That's what he just told me right now. The assassination can wait. I don't care. The world will end next March, but these kids, I don't like it. They're getting too fucking ahead of themselves. He's the biggest hater right now. He's gonna fuck them kids up. And that's today's episode. And you know what? I think so far, this might be my favorite episode. As with any Shonen Jump or Shonen series, it takes a couple episodes. Like the intro, like the start is often kind of weak or like it's not necessarily weak, but they're trying to introduce all new characters. And now we don't have all new characters, but you know, Karma and Bitsa and Sekarasuma, they're all here. We've kind of got something going. We went to the school and now we get to see like, you know, the engagement with the other school classmates and for them to kind of like feel jealous and feel like, damn, I feel like we're being left out. This is an amazing episode. This is actually my fucking favorite episode so far. Like it's been building up and I feel like this is kind of like a semi pop off episode, man. So what is actually happening? The principal has designed, you know, the end class as a segregated, discriminated group because human beings, right, us dumb monkeys, we thrive when we're looking down on somebody else, right? It's just the objective best way to get the highest ratings of acceptance to top universities and makes our school look good, you know, the data's good, everyone's getting paid a lot of money. But now, with Koro-sensei, Karasuma Bitsensei, from the outside, it's looking like they're having a lot of fun. And the principal also is like, nah, man, they getting ahead of themselves. They looking too good right now. The principal needs to step in and enforce some new set of rules. Now, why is the principal so fucking dedicated towards this? Because everything, because his school matters, his pride matters. But even at the cost of your fucking like assassinations, like, like, like what, the, the, like your earth is gonna be destroyed, supposedly, and you still say like, now fuck them kids more? I don't know, it, a part of me feels like this is really silly, and the other part is like, damn, this guy's like a super fucking mastermind, but fantastic episode overall. That's it from me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction though, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.